What's going on everyone? Joshua for the Love of Games. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing a few different products for the Oculus Quest 2 from a company called Wazerstein. They make all sorts of gadgets and tech of varying degrees for various products, including the Oculus Quest 2. They sent me all the accessories they make for the Quest 2, and to be completely honest with you, I'm really excited for this one in particular. I'm going to be reviewing every item they sent me across two videos, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a second part. Oh, and for full disclosure and transparency, Wazerstein did send me these products for the purpose of this review, so let's get right into it. The first products we are going to be taking a look at are this Elite Style head strap and this 5000 mAh battery pack. So let's just get started with the battery pack. In the box you are going to find the battery pack itself, an instruction manual, and a USB Type A to Type C charging cable. Now this particular battery pack claims to extend the battery life of the Quest 2 by about 2-3 to three hours. And it also serves a little bit of a counterweight while wearing the Quest 2, that way the pressure can be removed from your face and your cheeks for a more comfortable experience. There is a rubbery type casing on the outside of the battery, which does feel really good. And there's a little bit of a velcro strap built into the outer case, so that way you can easily attach it to any head strap you're choosing. Moving on to the front of the battery, you will see two ports, a USB type A and a USB type C port. The type C port is used to charge the battery pack from an external source, and a type A port is used to charge the Quest 2 from the battery pack. There's also a little red light indicator on the front, so you can tell if it's charging, and the green indicator light as well to let you know if it's fully charged. I have been using this battery pack for about a week now, and honestly I can say that it holds up to all its claims. It's small enough to get out of your way, but also powerful enough to supply upwards of 3 hours of additional playtime. As far as the counterweight, it does the job. It's heavy enough to act as a proper counterbalance for the Quest 2, but it's also light enough that you don't even notice it. Which is a good thing. All in all, if you're looking for a way to extend the battery life of your Quest 2, this is a pretty good option for about $24 to $30. So if you're in the market for a battery pack, this is definitely a good option. But now, let's move on to something that is not so great. This Elite Style head strap is honestly just okay in my opinion. It's not bringing any groundbreaking innovation, and it's not really bringing anything to the table as far as comfort goes. And the unboxing experience is less than stellar. Once you open the package, you are greeted with the head strap being completely disassembled, which to me is an unsatisfactory experience. It's not some assembly required, it's all assembly required. And once you start putting it together, you really start to see the flaws in the product almost immediately. The top and bottom rails for the back of the head strap are really difficult to get together and line up. You really have to use a lot of force to get them to fit correctly, and even then I couldn't line up the dots completely, even after forcing them into place. I felt like I was going to break it just putting it together. Getting the side rails together was much of the same, with it being a three piece assembly. Trying to line up all the pieces and get everything to snap into place was an absolute chore. In fact, the whole process was. The side rails really don't offer anything innovative in any way. By looking at the promotional material, it looks like the side rails will have a hinge of some sort. But, nope, it doesn't. The only thing these side rails are good for is showing off the Wallerstein logo and giving you a way to mount it onto the Quest 2. That's it. I really can't see anybody wanting to actually do this before using it. By the time I had it all together, I felt defeated in a way, and I was already over the head strap as a whole. Once I got it all together and finally experienced it, the only thing I could say for the comfort aspect of this head strap is it's basically okay at best. The leatherette covered padding does feel good while handling it, but once it's on your head, it does an inadequate job of providing any sort of meaningful comfort. The top head strap is pretty anemic and only really serves as a means to attach to the headset. I felt like I was going to tear it just by installing it onto my Quest 2. In comparison to the official Elite head strap, it just doesn't cut it. It really doesn't offer anything that screams pick me, pick me over the already existing Elite head strap from Meta. In fact, the official Elite head strap is way more comfortable and it's only about $15 more, which in my opinion is a much better option. I would like to see Wildstein revise this product with a few different upgrades, the first being a much better rear pad or a cradle like the Meta head strap a newly designed integrated top strap with a cushion, and some hinges on the side rails in order to assist with putting on the headset as well as removing it. If you're really strapped for cash and you want to replace the head strap in your Oculus Quest 2, this may be an option for you. But if you want something that's a little more comfortable, you're honestly better off saving a little bit more money for the official Elite head strap or finding a different, more comfortable one for a comparable price. If you're interested in picking up either one of these products, I will have the official Wildstein website and some Amazon affiliate links down in the description below. If you want to see another Elite Style head strap review I did recently, then click on the video that's on the screen right now. And until next time guys, I'm Joshua for Love of Games, signing out. Have a great day.